Thanks, Victoria. And Thanksgiving is a time of sharing and reflection of what we're all thankful for. And one organization that is hoping to continue that mantra even after the holidays is Infinite Love, who is hosting an event to uplift the community and to explain. We have Cynthia Osorio and Dennis Stewart. So good morning, both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. And give us a little recap. What exactly is Infinite Love? Um, <coughs> Infinite Love is, is well, of course, a, a nonprofit organization founded on love, and we believe that uh, we believe in community service. We believe that we're all interconnected, and we like to identify ways that we can uh, serve those around us. We believe uh, in the in the principle, be the change, right, mm -hmm. uh, that you wish to see in the world, um, and that's what we live by. So we we identify ways that we can serve and connect with others around us. Uh, we you know we serve food to the homeless. Uh, we also serve lunch to cancer patients at Texas Oncology every weekday uh, who may not be able to afford meals because they uh, have to pay for treatment. Um, in addition, we provide grants to people who maybe are a little short on paying bills and such. So, um, and we just identify ways to, to bring people together and identify ways to help them heal. So, so just another way of doing Good Samaritan work, mm -hmm. right, basically. And you, are, you actually have an event coming up this weekend. Tell us a little mm -hmm. bit more about the awakening. Yeah, so uh, we, um, Every other month, we bring speakers in who uh, have some way that they can help uh, heal and up uplift the community. Mm -hmm. and, and we're lucky this weekend that we have uh, two speakers coming down from Seattle from an organization called Flying Chickadee. Uh, we have uh, Shahana Datagupta and Sharen Sabani. Um, and they really are about fostering creativity in mm -hmm. such that they really believe that um, it's essential for us to express love and to express our, uh, our own unique spark, our own unique gift to the world. Right. Um, and they help us realize and actualize that. So they're gonna come to kind of share some stories about the work that they do and show us how to, to use a, a certain model to really connect with that, that inner source um, and help uh, bring that about and realize it. Okay, so. great. And Cynthia, tell us a little bit about what you think people have taken from past events that you've held. I think that they've uh, <coughs> taken a, a their spiritual to another spirituality to another level <coughs> and connect it more with themselves um, and that is spreading more towards the community, mm -hmm. spreading more love and uh, being whole and, he and healed. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, what does this mean for you folks that are volunteering on a daily basis? Uh, tell us more about that, Dennis. Um, what does it mean to, for, to... To do something like this, to give back to others. I, I, we think it's essential to who we are. Um, mm -hmm. you know, we, we really believe that, that it's, it's important for everyone to, to provide service to those around us. Mm -hmm. And it's, it really is important to our, to our own healing, in, mm -hmm. in a sense, to really actualize that and connect with others and, and, and share so that, um, so that everything's equalized, in a sense, and that we really feel uh, mutually supported. We believe that we're all, we're all interconnected. Right. Um, and it's, it's part of who and what we are. And again, when is this happening? The, the event, the uh, this this Sunday at uh, starts uh, doors open at three thirty p.m. It starts at, at four. Okay, and it's located where? Uh, we are actually um, near the the corner of uh, Trenton and McCall. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with us. We truly appreciate your time, and hopefully, we get a lot of people to head on over to that event for you guys. And let's send it over now to Victoria.